Hi there YouTube, I'm Jeff from Up and Down the Dales and today we'll be taking a look at the Technicals Glencoe 22 litre backpack. Let's have a look now. So this is the main compartment. It's a really good size main compartment. In this I've managed to fit my OEX Bobcat, my OEX Fathom EV400 four season sleeping bag, my Trekology UL80 sleeping pad, and my OEX Takana stove, which is a big bulky stove of a similar size to a jet boiler. All of that has fit in the main compartment and zipped up and it's been quite comfortable to carry. So I can't complain about this. Another good feature is this little pocket at the front or on the top. Decent sized pocket. You can't fit too much in there, but if you just want something to be able to access quite easily, whether it be your keys, um, I tend to put my water filter in here. I've also had my collapsible cup for coffees in there. Uh, occasionally I may have put my pen knife, things like that. There's enough room to fit things like that and close it up, so there's no problem with that. There's also a hydration bladder pocket. Um, I don't have a hydration bladder, so what I tend to put down here is my food. Um, I take dry meals or, you know, wet pouches of food. So that fits just down the back, behind all the main stuff. It keeps it a little bit protected. If you were just to use it as a normal day back backpack, you could just have your laptop in there or your tablet. There's plenty of room for that. Now to the front of the backpack. Um, it's got this elasticated pocket. Really good. Um, it stretches quite a long way and it has a lot of give to it. So I tend to put in here my down jacket. I've had in here my waterproofs before. If the fly sheet of your tent maybe gets a little bit wet, throw that in there just to protect the rest of your stuff inside. Decent quality, I can't complain. Now, I'd actually compare this to the Osprey Talon 22 litre. Um, it's same size, very similar design, but with two big differences. First of all, it's not Osprey, so the quality might not be as good. You know, occasionally get a loose thread. It doesn't come with that lifetime guarantee you get with an Osprey as well. On the flip side, the Osprey Talon is about anywhere between 100 to 120 pounds. This cost us from Go Outdoors 22 pounds. I'm saving 100 pounds and it does the exact same thing. I can't complain. It's a great backpack. And it has a bonus as well that the Talon doesn't have. With the Talon, if you wanted a rain cover, you'd have to pay an extra 20 pounds, I think it is, from Osprey, for an official Osprey one. This comes with one in the bottom. Decent rain cover. It does the job, it keeps the rain off your backpack. Folds up into a little pocket in the bottom. That's just Velcroed shut. Now, it is detachable. So if you didn't need to worry about the rain, if it was summer and you knew the forecast, but there was no chance of rain, you could leave this out, either lighten your backpack, or it would give you a, a small pocket in the bottom. I'm not sure what you'd want to put in it, but it's an extra option. And then this, just folds up, don't even need to fold it, just scrunch it up nice and easy. And you're done. That's an extra £20. So the Osprey Talon now is anywhere between 100 to 140 you know, including the, the rain cover. £22. There is one difference, I'll have to, I, I will own up to this. These shoulder pads, uh, shoulder straps, they're not as comfy as the Talon. There's not as much pad in there, but it's £100 cheaper, I don't expect there to be as much. It does have this back place with a um, mesh so you, in theory, can have a bit of airflow going through and not get as sweaty on your back. Never particularly used it in sort of weather where I would be sweating a lot, um, so I don't know how well it works, but it's there, it's an option. It's good that they've tried to include it. You also have hip belts. Decent sized pockets on these as well, another bonus. Again, Osprey Talon has this, but £100 extra. Here we've got the Technicals Glencoe, has them for £22. I, it's just, it makes sense in my head for this one. They're decent size. Um, I tend to put my compass in there, my pocket knife, uh, maybe some snacks. I don't often put my phone in my hip belts, I just keep my phone in my pocket when I'm hiking. Um, but they're a decent size. So as I said, it's a great little backpack. I've had this fully packed before. I've been more than happy and more comfortable taking that on an overnight camp somewhere, where the local woods. I wouldn't go up the Lake District. I wouldn't go up Scarfell Pike with this. 
I'd use a more comfortable rucksack, but if you're just going to do local camps or just day hikes, this backpack is absolutely amazing. So there you have it, the Technicals Glencoe 22 litre rucksack. It's an amazing little backpack. I'd highly recommend it if you're looking for a small backpack. You can use it for day hikes and at a push, like I said, you can use it for overnight camps. I hope you enjoyed this review and if you did, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all my latest reviews and wild camps that will be going on in the year. Thanks very much and I'll see you later.